Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. It's the day before Halloween. Halloween's on a Saturday this year, and, and that's kind of a uh, big deal for those of us who enjoy really celebrating. Uh, I have tons and tons of friends who are doing special events, parties, and other things uh, on Halloween itself, which means since I can't teleport and I don't have any of those fancy movie witches' brooms or uh, portals to hell that'll get me anywhere, uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to make it to everything. But that's Probably just as well, since I've been so busy lately, I haven't really had a chance to pull together the sort of costume that I really like to pull together for these things. Uh, I'm a big fan of costumes from way back. Uh, a lot of it comes from being interested in the horror movies and uh, the makeup, the special effects makeup. Uh, for a long time, uh, when I was young, that's the sort of stuff I wanted to do. Uh, unfortunately... I was the only one around me that was really interested in stuff like that, so I never really had a chance or the resources to explore that. Uh, and that's something that's very, very different today. Today, because of the internet, because of the explosion in various fandoms, now you can get all of that costuming information, you can get all of that special effects information, and getting the equipment and the materials you need to do it is just a couple of clicks away thanks to the World Wide Web. It would have blown my mind uh, 30 years ago to be able to, to know that I would be able to get my hands on what's needed to vacuum form plastic, or that there'd be equipment available cheap that you could make fake armor with, or that you could have delivered to your house silicone gel that you could mold scars and facial, facial features with. It's just such an amazing change. Uh, and back when I was younger, when I was doing Halloween stuff, uh, I did try my hand at making some costumes. Some of them went better than others. No one in my household was exactly an expert seamstress. Uh, my mother made a bunch of costumes for my sister and I, and they were pretty good back then. But looking back at them and looking at what people I know who are near, if not complete, professional costume makers uh, make, they left a lot to be desired. But that's not a bad thing. And that's something that I think we've lost a little bit of sight of as we've been able to get our hands on more and more of these mass-produced costumes, which aren't the horrible quality they used to be, mind you. I've got a couple hanging up in my, uh, in my closet that surprised me with the fact that they didn't disintegrate while I was wearing them. Homemade stuff, no matter how good or how bad it is, counts for a whole lot. It's expressing yourself. It's honing your skills. It's putting together your own vision, even if you don't quite recreate that vision and get exceptionally frustrated, which is what usually happens to me, it, it's that creative energy that goes into it. And that's why when I'm out somewhere on Halloween or at one of the various uh, sci-fi, fantasy, pop culture conventions that I've gone to over the years, and I see a costume that doesn't look perfect, but you can tell someone put a lot of work into it, I'm impressed because, well, I've fallen off the wagon when it comes to putting that sort of work into most costumes that I've pulled together over the last bunch of years. And I feel a little bit bad about that. We'll see what we'll do about that next year. Uh, this year, it's going to be kind of rummaging through the uh, costume trunk, pulling together some stuff. I did pick up some new costume pieces this year. I try to do a couple of costume pieces every year, even if they're just simple masks, uh, just to keep some new stuff around. Because you never know when you're going to 
need something and when a friend of yours is going to need something. So I always try to keep a, a variety of stuff uh, around costume-wise. After my trudge through uh, Christmas Town the other day, I did find some uh, Nerf guns that excited me with ideas for costumes. Because uh, Nerf guns are fantastic for uh, repainting and repurposing for prop guns because uh, they look weird, uh, they hold paint well, they come apart really well, and more importantly, they go back together really well and still work. So I have one that I did a bunch of years ago. I know a lot more about better ways to apply paint now. Not that I've practiced them, but I know them, which I didn't know before. Uh, so maybe between now and next Halloween, I'll pull together uh, something a little fancier than what I'll be going with this year. Uh, I'm not even sure yet what I'll be going with this year, and that's um, going to be a completely random thing. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure everyone will at least appreciate the fact that I haven't just shown up in a t-shirt and jeans. I've seen people do that. It's sad. It's very, very sad. One night a year when you have an excuse to do absolutely anything you want costume-wise, make some sort of effort. I have friends that go all out, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing what they've done for this year. I'll probably be sharing pictures in various places for those of you who uh, follow me in other places. I'm excited. Halloween coming right up. I've got stuff to do uh, the night before Halloween that also involves costumes. I have to figure out whether I'm going to try to make one more run uh, at the Halloween store on Sunday, the day after Halloween, see if they have anything left and maybe some sales going on. Tell me, what was your favorite Halloween costume that, uh, that you ever had? And did you or your family make it? And do you make costumes on a regular basis? Answer any of those questions down in the comments below. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, uh, give me a thumbs up down uh, right below the video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe so you get notified when these things come out. And if you know anyone else that would be interested in the stuff I've been doing, uh, and so far that's that's been reviews, talking about some weird stuff, uh, a couple of random ramblings like this. Uh, we're going to be closing out the Halloween season, but that's not going to make uh, mean the weird stuff goes away because it's kind of what I do. So share this with uh, other people so they know this is going on. And uh, I'm Kier. That's it for today. Uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow.